Welcome back to Fallacy February with 90 Second Philosophy and Carnadies.org. Today we're going to be looking at the other fallacy of ambiguity, the fallacy of amphiboly. Now, amphiboly is when an argument is ambiguous between two different interpretations, or when the, an arguer misinterprets an ambiguous claim. Let's take a look at some examples. So, Malik told Lamik that he had misspoken. Therefore, Malik admits that he was wrong. This is a problem because the original premise is ambiguous between who Malik said had misspoken. If he said that he himself had misspoken, or if he said that Lamik had misspoken. Professor Van gave a lecture on arson in the forestry building. Therefore, many people have tried to burn down the forestry building. This is ambiguous between whether Professor Van is giving a lecture about arson in general while she is in the forestry building, or if Professor Van is giving a lecture somewhere else about arson at the forestry building. The will reads that Mr. Klein wills his house and his collection of Hummel figurines to Marissa and Joylissa. Therefore, Marissa gets the house and Joylissa gets the Hummels. This is ambiguous between a reading of they both have to share both of those things or the conclusion that has been drawn that Marissa gets the big house and Joy Lissa only gets the Hummels. Clearly, Joy Lissa would be arguing for the other interpretation. If we had have added respectively on the end, it would have been much more clear. That was Amphiboli. Also today is Boole versus Aristotle. Yesterday was equivocation and the particular negative. Tomorrow is going to be the fallacy of composition and contradictory and undetermined. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at Carnadies.org and stay skeptical, everybody.